5.9 liter Cummins behind me, and I have the engine right here. This wasn't the ending that the customer was hoping for. The truck was brought to us excessively smoky. So under light load, had excessive smoke. Under heavy load, excessive smoke. We thought, okay, might just be a tuning issue. Might be an injector issue. We'll see. Work on the tuning. We're not able to get the smoke out of it. Pull the injectors out. We think, you know, it's had the injectors in this situation. It's been this smoky for a long time. Let's just do a leak down test. Let's do a compression test. Let's see the health of the engine. So we pull all the injectors out and we do a compression test on the thing. And this is part of good diagnostics. This is part of not just buying six new injectors and throwing them in and say, well, I guess it does the same thing. Better luck next time. So we do the compression test. We get 250, 250, 250, 250, 250, 150. 250 is not the call. Right? We should be in the upper three. But there's something to be said about consistency. If there's 250 across the board, I might not be super suspicious. It could just be the operator on the compression test. But to have 150 in cylinder one, that's not a good situation. That means we got something going on. So we do a leak down test. 25%, 25%, 30% leak down. Okay, well, pretty obvious at this point that this engine has had bad injectors for a long time. It's probably got the ring seal washed out of it. It runs hard up top. It's got tons of power. It's got a big turbo on it. But down low, off idle, the thing hazes doesn't have the pop off idle. That's the story. You know, you run with bad injectors for a long time, that diesel fuel will wash the oil off the cylinders, and you do that long enough, it starts to wash the ring seal out of the engine. So you might be asking yourself, how do I know if this is a situation on my engine? Well, what I like to do, anytime the engine's in for a big job, let's start with a compression test. On the Duramax, it's easy. We pull the glow plugs, test all eight holes, and we look at it and we say, okay, is this thing 350, 375 across the board? Because if it's 350, 375 across the board, we're probably good. We got some holes that are 320, 270, maybe lower, and the engine's giving us that doesn't quite want to idle great. It's got a little bit of extra haze at idle. Can't seem to tune out the haze at low throttle. It's not a good situation. Usually, what that means is you got either something going on with the valve seal, or you got the ring seal washed out of it, or a broken ring. And ultimately, it's a motor. You know, and a lot of these trucks are getting old. We got, what, 14, 13 years on this truck. You start to run these trucks at 600, 700 horse, or even 550 horse, and really beat on them and get them hot continuously, run them hard time and time again. You're going to get to that point where it's going to need a motor eventually. They don't last forever. So, as a matter of operation, if you have the thing tore down for some big job, do a compression test on it. It's not that much work. It at least lets you get a baseline. If the engine's good, great. You know when in good. You know what the baseline is. That way, a year from now, two years from now, you got some issues with it. Do another compression test. See how it matches up to that test you did before. It's just a really nice test to have in the books for the truck. Good way to sell an engine too. Sell a truck. Say, hey, compression test showed well. Things mint. As for this truck, time for a fresh engine. We'll have six good holes. We should have a nice clean idle. Should have a nice good pop-off line. Got good high compression in the cylinders, we like to see.